Hello YouTubers and today we're going to be doing the Jasmine Star Stitch Ear Warmers. So I have a chunky yarn and an H hook. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead with our slip knot and then we're going to just chain one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and go into this loop, back loop that we just made. So one, then we're going to yarn and we have three on your loop, three on, I'm sorry, three on your hook and you're going to yarn over and you're going to go in again and you're going to pull through and you should have five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to hold the yarn you're going to pull through all if I can get my hook through all five it can be a little difficult mm -hmm. and then what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet into that piece of yarn you are holding There we go. Now what we're going to do with this again, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go through that single crochet that we just made right here. Uh oh, right here. And you want to pull up on your yarn just a little bit to make it a little loose. So it's three, yarn over again, go in again. And this is for one, two, three, and four and five. Now we'll do the same thing. You're gonna hold this, go through all of them, then go through that yarn you were holding, and then single crochet. So that's two little puff stitches here. And we're going to make seven of these puff stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then uh, I'll return it. Okay, the so I have made my seven puff stitches. This is what they should look like. And now we're going to need to do a turning chain. So what we do, yarn over. We're going to go into that single crochet, the last single crochet we made. You're going to pull up three on the hook. We're going to yarn over and go in again, just like that, one, two, three, four, and five. Now instead of holding, we're not going to hold, we're just going to pull through all five and then we're going to just go ahead and slip stitch. Then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, go through that slip stitch we made, that's three on the hook. Yarn over again, go back through that same slip stitch. Now you have five on the hook. Now, instead of doing what we're doing, finishing it, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go through the single crochet, the next single crochet here. We're going to pull through and then we're going to do it again. We're going to pull through again and you should have nine on your hook. Then we're going to yarn over. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh, I think I made a mistake. Hold on. Let me start that over. Okay, yarn over, go through the single crochet, then yarn over, go through the single crochet. Now I should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Then we're going to yarn over again. And we're going to go through the next single crochet. And then we're going to yarn over and go back through that same single crochet. Now we should have 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we're going to yarn over. And we're going to hold our yarn like normal. And we're going to pull through all of them. I like to do them in stages because it does get difficult. This is 
a lot of loops to go through. There we go. And then we go through and we do a single crochet. There we go. And that is the start of our first star. Now, then we're going to yarn over and we're going to go through that single crochet we just made twice. So three loops on the hook and then five loops on the hook. Then we're going to yarn over again and go through this one right here. It's right below it. We're going to do that twice and that should give us a nine on the hook. Going to yarn over and go through the next single crochet we made. And this should give us 13. You do it twice, you should have 13 loops on your hook. Yarn over, we're gonna hold that loop, that yarn like we did before, and we're going to go through all of the loops. Then we go in. And we do a single crochet and if you look you can start to see see one two and three then one two and three this is a six star so six arms on the star so you're just going to continue to keep doing that until you get to the end i'm going to finish off camera and i'll meet you back at the end okay so i went ahead and i finished and this is what I have. Now I'm going to show you how to do that turning chain again, which is not hard. You're going to yarn over. Uh -uh. You want to turn your work first. Yarn over, and we're going to go through the last single crochet we made. Three on the hook, yarn over again, go back through that single crochet. You should have five on your hook. Yarn over, you're going to hold the yarn. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not going to hold the yarn at the end. You're going to just pull through and slip stitch. This will be your turning chain. Then to get started, you're going to yarn over. You're going to go through this um, slip stitch you made, three on the hook, yarn over, and you're going to go back through that slip stitch you made. You should have five on your hook. And then like we did with the rest of them, instead of finishing off, we're going to yarn over and go through this single crochet here. Then yarn over and go back through that single crochet. Then you're going to yarn over again and go through the next single crochet. You're going to yarn over and do it one more time. And then you're going to go through all, you're going to hold your yarn like we did last time. You're going to go through all 13 loops. And then you're going to go through that piece of yarn you were holding and do a single crochet. And there you go. And then you're just going to continue the pattern. So through the single crochet you just made, yarn over, go back through the single crochet you made. You should have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, and you're going to go through the single crochet right at the bottom here. Yarn over, go through the single crochet, and then the next one. Yarn over, go through, yarn over, go through. Then we hold the piece of yarn, and we go through all 13 loops. And then we do our single crochet right in there. And if you take a look, you will see that you've made your first star. So one, two, three, four, five, six. See? Six puff stitches around. You just made your first little star. You're going to continue that pattern until you have made this the length of your head. Now I've measured my head already and it's about 20 inches around. So I'm going to make this it's actually about 21 and a half. But remember that this stretches. So you want to make it a little small. 
so that when you put it on it's tight and um, not too loose. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this up um, and then I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm going to come back at the end and, and just show you how to uh, close it up. Okay, um, I haven't finished it up to the length that I needed, but I just wanted to uh, show you when you get to the end how to make the last star. So you're going to yarn over. You're going to go through the last single crochet you made twice. So you have five, five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, you're going to go through this loop right here. It's right up under it. Twice, and then you should have nine loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over, and you're going to go through this bottom piece right, I don't know if you can see this, right here at the bottom. So I'm going to go through there, and I'm going to do it twice. Now I have 13 on my hook. Then I'm going to yarn over, hold my yarn like normal, and go through all 13. And then do my single crochet. So I just wanted to show you how to finish that up. And then you go ahead and you'll turn your work and do your um, turning chain here. remember we don't hold the yarn on the turning chain we just go straight through and we do our slip stitch and then we work it all the way across like normal so this is what your work will look like and you're just gonna keep going until you make it to the length of your head and then I'll go ahead and finish this and when I'm done I will come back and show you how to close it up. okay so I went ahead and I finished up my um ear warmers and I made it the length that I needed it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bring both of them together and you're just simply going to slip stitch them together. You're just going to match up the stitches uh, 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 slip stitch them together just like this. Mm -mm. Oh, if I can get it in there. Just like that. And like this. Like that. There we go. And you're just going to keep going. until you reach the end uh-oh it gets a little difficult but okay I'm coming to the end here it's my last one and then I'm just going to clip, cut it off, and tie it up. And then you would essentially sew in your ends in here. And what you would do is you would turn it inside out so that that seam does not show. And there you have your uh, ear warmers. Now... You can always put edging on this if you would like, and this pattern is good for either blankets or scarves or whatever else you want to make. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and as always, I this is Pink Olay saying happy crochet.